Hey guys, Jesse here from Tonkadale and today we're talking about pet safe plants. The first thing I wanted to show you were some of our plant resources. We have our plant care guides here right in this card catalog. If you go to the FAQ section, we have a few really helpful cards including a pet safe plants list. When we're talking about pet safe plants, the most important thing to know is your pet. Do they pay attention to your plants? Are they really curious? Do they like to get to know them and taste them? Our dog, not interested, does not pay attention to the plants indoors at all. So I feel pretty confident bringing almost anything into the house, but that's just me. Now, we're here in the cactus corner. Cactus are a great pet safe plant. Pets are not gonna go near it. If they experience it once, they'll be done. With that being said, you don't want prickles up in your cat's grin. So be careful. A couple other pet safe varieties include ferns, spider plants, and palms. These are medium light plant lovers that actually require a decent amount of water. So hydrate, hydrate. Bromeliads, which are one of my absolute favorites, are also pet friendly. And these are in the Tillandsia family. So air plants are pet safe too. Peperomia and Hoya are a diverse group of plants. So you can mix and match and collect till the day is done and have a plethora of pet safe plants. This one is Peperomia Ginny and she is fine. Ponytail palms are a great choice for pet lovers. They love bright indirect light. They can tolerate drying out because look at this big stone that holds all the water. Your cats are probably gonna love this one, but definitely safe. Norfolk Island Pine are a great choice. You usually see these around holiday time, but they're so furry and fluffy, a great compliment to your furry and feathered friends. Haworthia is a truly underrated plant. They are a succulent, but they grow pretty slowly. So in my opinion, they do tolerate a little bit lower light conditions than your traditional succulent, and they even flower. This one is about to go into full bloom as soon as I say go. Also pet friendly, great for collectors because there is a diverse and wide range of varieties to have. Cryptanthus are a little known plant family, but this beauty is called Elaine. She loves pets. All of this advice is just general guidelines. If you have further questions, make sure to check with your veterinarian. Another great resource is ASPCA.org. They have all kinds of information about plant toxicity and what is safe for your pets indoors and out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at Tonkadale.